现在在游行队伍的现场，现场气氛十分高昂，大家聚在一起庆祝美国的胜利，而且还能看到自己最喜爱的足球明星。美国国家女子足球队队长梅根·拉皮诺和足球当红甜心亚历克斯·摩根一现身在游行花车上，民众的情绪就沸腾起来。Alex Morgan, Alex Morgan, Alex Morgan, Julia, it's literally the whole team. Like we grew up watching them together. Like we played soccer since we were eight together. Honestly, this is honestly a dream come true. Like she said, we came from Buffalo. Like drove all night to get here. Honestly, made my life. 花车上，纽约州长和市长也一同庆祝。游行两侧挤满了庆祝人群，他们举着美国国旗，身上穿着代表美国的红、白、蓝三色。I feel amazing to be here with everyone. We're very excited. We were up at 3:30 and we traveled from Connecticut. They're my heroes. Like looking up to them every day. This is just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to just celebrate our country and the amazing women that are on the national team. 美国女子足球队在今年的世界杯中以二比零战胜荷兰队，第四度摘下冠军，是史上拿下最多次冠军的队伍。When they won, I was just jumping up and down. I was loving every moment of it. Oh my God, I was ecstatic. How did you guys feel?、Uh, I was speechless. I really didn't know how to feel. I was just so excited, screaming, yelling at my TV. <laughs> 纸袋从高楼洒落而下，很有庆祝的意味。那其实这个纸袋游行可以回溯到一八八六年，在纽约市已经有相当长的一个传统。上一次举行那个纸袋游行是在二零一五年，同样是庆祝美国女子足球队的胜利。纸袋是一种一寸宽的纸条，早期用于纽约市下沉金融区的收报机。纽约市曾举行多场纸袋游行，包括庆祝自由女神像的落成、庆祝太空人阿姆斯壮登月后返回地球和洋基队世界大赛夺冠等等。游行队伍的英雄峡谷旅程从炮台公园出发，沿着百老汇大道抵达市政厅。纽约市长白思豪在市政厅授予球员城市之钥。新唐人记者王于赫、奥利弗，纽约报道。